Hey friends, this is the Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead and we are at Parliament Hill and it is April 20th, 2013. It doesn't look like there's a whole huge crowd here yet, but hopefully we're going to get some interviews. This is the Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead. And we're here with some folks from Calgary, yes, and, and you're from Freedom Ambassadors. Can I have a closer look at those buds? Oh, they're beautiful. Has anybody tried to roll you up and smoke you yet? So They've fun. offered. Yeah. They have offered. Yeah. Well, hey, over there, they were talking about a bonfire. <laughs> oh, yeah. So now, are you for legalizing, decriminalizing, or just for medical Legalization. use? Legalization. Legalizing. Where did you get the, did you make this yourself, this, this outfit? Yeah, we, I bought, bought this right online. Wow! I bought this on like, we made the hat. I love the hat. Yeah, it's kind of yeah. evolved over the last So year. you've come all the way from Calgary for yeah. this? Yeah, well we thought because they legalized down in the, some of the states this yeah. year, we'd come to Capitol Hill. The alcohol kill and cigarettes kill more people that don't use them. I'm hoping it's going to become an election issue. It should be an election issue. Well, yeah, if they legalize it, at least they can they can tax it, they can they can regulate it. Well, listen, I want to get a picture with you, but thank okay. you. Thank you so awesome. very much. Woo! Welcome to Fill the Hill. My name is Precious Chong. If the 68% that didn't vote came out, we can make a real impact. Why must we end prohibition in Canada? Firstly, just as the citizens of the states of Colorado and Washington voted to end cannabis prohibition in their own states, we too, as Canadian adults, deserve the right to choose if we want to consume cannabis without the fear of arrest or a criminal record. Voters in Washington and Colorado saw that their young people were not safer because of prohibition. A street corner dealer doesn't ask you for ID. He doesn't ensure the safety or even the quality of the product that's being sold to our youth. And now, women are creating a collective voice to end the prohibition of cannabis too. Together, we can change the world. We can end marijuana prohibition once and for all. Okay, our next speaker is Marianne Kapouris, and she is the national chair, policy chair for the Liberal Party of Canada. The position of the Liberal Party of Canada is one that is developed by our members. And in 2012, the Liberal Party of Canada, by 77% in a national convention, voted to legalize and regulate marijuana. <laughs> Get high. 